All right. Hi, guys. How are you tonight? It's really great to see you. Um, I took a lot of time last night and uh, thought I would show you our new uh, additions. And I'm really afraid to take the uh, Stargate. <laughs> the Stargate threw me out into the ocean and somebody said, well, then just kill yourself and go back. And get your stuff and I'm like oh okay so we need to go towards the red obelisk where are you do I have my stuff on me well, I guess I have enough all right well let's go then Um, this is Viking Bay, and this is what I call the mudslide. This is the first place that I found the ice cap, and this is the first entrance I found. Someone I have been looking for cactus sap and somebody found some and I'm like how in the world did they find it where did they find it and so um, we need to go find cactus sap tonight somehow <clears throat> and I'm guessing that part of scorched earth must be up or they wouldn't be coming back with it so we're gonna go ahead and see if we can find cactus sap after I show you our new urban. And here's the urban area. All this black is a volcano, volcanic stuff. It's my puddle jumper we got with the three artifacts and we made the ancient ruin. And uh, so here is the trench. And there are the bourbons. And of course it's night. <laughs> of course. I can't imagine it being night for so long except for the fact that they have night animals now. So we don't uh, nerf the, the time. I don't want to get too close. Yesterday I got too close to uh, Griffin and it attacked me. <laughs> so I'm like, oh. <clears throat> Okay, there's our little lighthouse over here. Gosh, it looks so tiny from up here. And here we go down here. And I had to use my uh, my phone last night and I put uh, the timer on for whenever my uh, animals were going to be fed and they would have all been 100% imprinted except for the fact that the Stargate threw me across the entire ocean to the edge of the world. I kid you not. And somebody said, well, that happened to me. And I, you know, kind of like, uh, oh, yeah. Well, when it happened to me, I was really upset. So this is our Wervin. Isn't he pretty? Turned out beautiful, huh? I named him um, the Iceman. The Iceman Cometh. And uh, he is really pretty. And he started out about as big as his foot. And then here, this is what took the longest, is this beautiful quest. And um, this is from an egg that somebody gave me. I think it's just an amazing, amazing bird. It, it just, it just, I'm so thankful to have it because I can pick up now I can pick up woolly rhinos and um, all kinds of cool things. I haven't even started to level it. So I'm going to start leveling it in uh, weight. I don't think they are very good with the... Um, I don't think they're really good with uh, melee damage. Okay, so... 
that's that. All right, so let's go. I was going to take the uh, the female of the group, and then here's the um, here is the son of the one that is at the other place, and this one. And to me, they look uh, a lot alike. Okay, father and son. The father's on the right, and the son is on the left. Okay. Well, we might as well go fly while it's nighttime. And this time I believe I brought a, yeah. Do they let you have that? Oh yeah, they do. Okay. Just checking. We're gonna be leaving the, the light. I lit that place up like crazy. It's nice. Okay, so you can't see, I can hardly see. So I'm going to gamma it up, and it's going to look really, uh, it's going to look really awful for a while. Ugh. Well, that's just going to have to do for now until it starts to get daylight, or neither of us are going to be able to see. I hope this guy's got some, uh-oh, stamina. No meat. Uh, I think this is the 285, though. I don't think I want to mess with a 285. Are you a 285? What? Where's your thing? Uh... Oh, you're at 45. Oh, well, that makes a really big difference. That won't be hard. There we go. And we'll just come down here and I will uh, see here. Let's drop this. We don't need all that extra weight. I never know when I need it. Every time I don't think I need hide, I need it. All right, so we'll just watch out for um, the blinking uh, lightning bolt up there is her stamina, his stamina. This is the boy. I was going to take the girl, but I left her, and I have the puddle jumper now with me. Probably should have just taken the puddle jumper, huh? Let's just take the puddle jumper. It's way faster like gazillion times faster. I mean, we're just going to go look for cactus sap. It's not like we're going to be going in anywhere. If you follow this creek up to the next waterfall, there is a cave underneath the waterfall. Now it's a huge opening and it's a big cave. And I found the uh, coordinates of that uh, caving cave, and I went in there today, and I got like one foot in the door, well, the area, and I got attacked by snakes and scorpions and everything. It was awful. It was really bad. I know I'm around here somewhere, huh? I don't know where I am. I'm going the wrong way. Am I really over here? No, I'm not there. I didn't know I could see that dragon area from over here. I'm going to have to take the coordinates of where I am. Well, let's go towards the lighthouse. Lost my base. How could I? I don't know either. Ah, I see the garden plot out there. So last night while the Wervin and um, the Quetz were, you know, maturing, I just kept adding on. 
There wasn't much else I could do, and my alarm would go off every 20 minutes. You know, it's time to feed. It's just as bad as a baby. I, I can't, I couldn't believe it. Okay, so you can just stay here. And um, let's just go get the puddle jumper and make sure that our coral, let's see, we got GPS. Uh, do we have bullets? We have bullets. We have everything we need. And I even brought a flare gun so that we could, uh, oh, uh, stamina. Oh, wow, look at all the stuff that's got on it. Let's move it over and dump some of that off. Well, I'm not real good at driving, but I'm learning. Okay, so I'm going to run back here, and I'm going to go... We don't need all these. Uh, really, we don't need them all. In fact, let's just take everything and put back the ZPM food jumper thing. And then... I, had, I took a flamethrower with me to that cave. It was a really nasty cave, by the way. I mean, like, super nasty. I brought a rocket launcher, <laughs> a flamethrower. Uh, I mean, I just went nuts. I, I could not believe I, I took night vision goggles. Oh, yeah, it's bad over there. And then we're going to put a stargate over where we're going to be. Hopefully we find the... Um, the sap. I hope so. That would be really nice if we did. Okay, so we need six per. So we'll take 12. Okay. So I think we should take the rocket launcher. We're going to have trouble. Mm, I don't know. It depends on how much I weigh. I don't weigh much. Okay, so I can take. The rocket launcher. Flare guns, grappling hook, and uh, I mean, I was ready to go caving, and I couldn't even make it in the door. It broke my armor. They did everything. It was awful. I was looking to see if we had any narcotics. I don't think we have any of that uh, taming glue here, though. If we were going to do something. Ah! Whoa, I am impressed. Okay, so maybe so. Maybe we can find something. Alrighty. Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, flamethrower, flame. I don't think I need. Every time I go now to get something, I get these saddles, parasaur platform saddle. That'd be nice to have a parasaur, huh? And, uh, okay. I know, I could not believe. I didn't even get out of that cave. I, and you know, I was like, gosh, I would have never found it again because it's right above all the bases. I mean, like, right above it. So let's get up high. Er, is this good? Does it look like we're above everything? There. All right. Some place over here, there's a little piece of scorched earth somewhere. Are we going towards the green beacon? No, we're not. Ah! Nope, but we hit the head, top of the world. Oh, look at this. This is kind of deserty over here, huh? Oh, gosh, we're so close. But it's deserty. We're just looking for cactus sap. I can't make 
anything without capture set. That, um, like propellant, can't make propellant. Look how black the sky is. It's crazy here. I mean, it gets pitch black here on Ragnarok. Well, ah, er, well, that means that we're going to have to go down this way. Which way do you think we got to? There's got to be a little piece of scorched earth available, right? Somewhere. A tiny piece somewhere. I mean, people are finding stuff. Look at the delineation where you can see the, right there, the top of that. Any cactus? No. Any cactus? You gotta be kidding. Oh, sheep. Oh, it's a deer. Well, I find sheep everywhere now. So we really can't go over there at all. Period at the end. Not even a little tiny corner. How are they finding all that stuff? Huh. Bear with me. Got to be some tiny little square of it open somewhere. Perhaps. Mm, not yet. <laughs> not quite yet. Uh -uh. If this goes all the way to the other ocean, I'm going to be so upset. Because, I mean, people are showing that they're on the scorched shirt side. And that means it's not opened here on this Ragnarok, but it's opened on other ones? I don't know. Wow. There's a Stargate that I put in over here, and the admin was kind enough to come over here and make it a public one. Any cactus? Jeez, look at this, guys. I don't see where people are getting any of this stuff. Am I not looking in the right place? Maybe it's out here. I mean, kind of sandy. No, it's not. Kind of active. Oh, near. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, by the way, you can get attacked while you are on your puddle jumper. 
So, I guess that this Ragnarok isn't like all the others. You don't get to get a little tiny piece. I would really like to find the cactus and I really don't know where to find it. This is scary. But this over here is a swamp, right? This is all the swamp. I mean, they could have put one little thing of cactus here, right? It's one. So I'm guessing that that out there is off limits too. And we'll run into that thing in a minute. Ugh. Yeah, there you go. Wow. Wow. How disheartening. So even right along the beach, uh, there's no cactus. I mean, there's no vegetation at all, really. Now let's go up over the hill. How about way up the hill? And just look out over the forest, I guess. Jeez. Wow. Uh, I don't know what to say. Not even to you, just to myself. Like, uh, what do they plan for us to do to find capture set? Okay, so now we're going to have to go back and make a sap tap and see if we can find a redwood tree and, and, a, and a platform. We'll have to make a wooden platform and go around and see if any of the redwood trees will give sap here on this um, on, on Ragnarok. Uh, this better not be. What do we got? Uh, I don't have any teeth or anything. Let's see here. Let's see if I can park this thing. Uh, down. Yeah. Yep. Okay. You're hot. I know. So let me go over. What is he fighting? Uh, whoa, that's that, that Diplodocus. Well, heck with him. I just need oil. That's all I need. Sneak over here and get the oil. And I might have left some more in here the other day. I did. Oh, I left my scope in here. That's odd. I'll just leave it. All right, let's get in here and get out of here. All right, and we're off and running. Wow, okay, so now we're back 
en route to the house, the base. And we're going to go to the blue base, the blue obelisk base. And we'll pass over Penguin Lake here for you. And uh, all this light blue stuff here, this is what I call the ice cap. It is a total cave system underneath here. It is really cool. And um, then we're right back at Viking Bay. And I'm so sad that we didn't find any cactus. I mean, people come back and say, I found it. And I'm like, where are they finding it? I mean, it must be here somewhere, right? I've never been on this site looking for it. I never even think to look for it over here. Because it just looks like a bunch of rocks to me. But assume nothing. Check everything. Still looks like a bunch of rocks to me. I don't even see anything green on it at all. Any of it. Oh, I see a yellow thingy job. If I can figure out how to stop. Whoa. Uh, let's see. C, drop, and then X. Okay. But if I had to do that in a hurry, I don't think I could. Oh, nice. Geez, I've got more angler gel than I know what to do with. Uh, okay, so... Let's see, we're going southeast, and uh, I cannot believe, maybe I'm going to have to go back over to uh, Madagascar and get it. We could do that. We could just go over to Madagascar and get it. Because uh, it certainly doesn't look like there's any here. Does it? There's lava. You just make it around Robin before you know it will. Be back at the Red Obelisk and I don't want to be over there. So this is the uh, Hatching grounds. And the active volcano. I thought the active volcano was right here. Down here. Do you wonder where I put it? I've seen it before. All right. Oh, how did I miss that? And there you go, guys. Active volcano. 25.464. And tons of mantis around here. Oh, somebody put a stargate. Look. There's a stargate over here. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's see if I get up close. I can get the address. Okay, it's 983-245. That's the um, volcano. Uh, wow. wow. Oh, 
where I put it. I must have been so. So, Mantis 390. Ew, 135. You need a death worm horn for that. That's why I can't believe these guys are here. I mean, the death worms and all that stuff are over on Madagascar. They're not here. They're over on Scorched Earth in the Madagascar area. So you'd actually have to go to Madagascar. Which we might end up doing, by the way. Because I can't find any. I don't see any cactus. At all. We have a little path over here. See where it goes. Oh, the griffins again? No, thanks. I got attacked by them yesterday, and this guy can't kill them, so let's go home. Wow. Well, there's the castle, and here's a, a dam full of beavers. You might be interested in knowing where that is. It's at 2543. And I mean, it truly is full of beavers if you get down close enough. I don't want to get in the water, but. They're just everywhere. And right up here where the castle is, just on the other side, is where I found those beehives to get my bees. Uh, right there in front of me as we travel down closer. See it right there? I really like them because they're right on the ground. They were up on here and I couldn't get them. And if you go and you kill the queen, you get like 60 honey. I mean, I couldn't, I accidentally killed the queen. <laughs> That's why I know because it leaves a little uh, brown package for you. So, I don't know where people are getting their, their cactus sap, so I'm just gonna, I'll have to find out. Even if it's on this map. Somebody said it is, I just don't believe it. And then if you follow this, this just plain old river that I've crossed like a zillion times. See this river right here? And it just goes up the hill merrily, merrily on its way. I have been around this thing a million times. Look at the face. That was kind of... Interesting. It's a second face. Here's the other one over here. See? Oh, there's three. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen that. That there were three of them. I have never seen that. God, the more I'm here, the more I see. Wow. No, I've never seen that. Ever. So I followed, you know, I was just, remember I said I was walking around uh, the rivers. So here, let's see if I can find a place to park this baby. Or I can get to the river and not have to worry about falling in and all that junk. Oh, I'm not good at this, sorry. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'll point up a little bit, maybe. Am I stuck in something? Oh, yeah, I am. Okay, let's just go ahead. I think this is where I set my pteranodon down. Okay, I'm just going to park right here. Okay, so. 
I was walking along here I think this is it is this it if I don't find it I'm going to be so upset ah but this time I have my GPS so where are we it's at 1828. Which way is 28? Which way is 28? Is 28 this way? Nope, it's this way. It's on the other side of the river. Oh, geez, there's another one. No way. There is. Don't scare me. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look. There's more. I've never even been in this one. Ah! Okay, what is it? Where am I? How do I get out of here? Oh, cripe. I don't even... Ah, no! I'm gonna die. Aren't I? I don't have my flamethrower or nothing. Oh, cripe, and it's, I, I'm staying right in one place. I'm not moving around. I don't even know where I am. And I don't know. Where am I? How do I get out of here? I'm afraid to move. I'm serious. Oh, God. What did I get into? Help. Oh, no. I'm going to have to rescue myself, guys. I'm sorry. I left all my other flares someplace else. I don't even know what I'm doing. Come on, reload. Shoot, I don't have anything with me. Oh, I do. I do, I do, I do. Oh, cripe. I'm out of water. I die. Sorry. I don't know where I am, but we're getting out of here. Man. Are you kidding? There's a thing in here? A loot crate? And it gives you kibble? I should have left it. I don't have any more flares, do I? I don't have any way to get out. Because I can't see. I'm going to have to uh, kill myself.
or it's going to kill me for myself. Oh. And Holy cripe. I'd cuss right now, but I can't. I'm not allowed. How would you ever see in there? I have my, I had these, um, I had the goggles the whole time. I could have put them on. See how nervous I get? Well, now I can't tame or anything because I don't do that when I'm like this. Okay, so let's take Healing Brew. I guess I could put a Stargate out there for somebody right here. Oh, we're not taming anything. Forget that. Okay, we got bullets now. We got our our brew, where's our brew? Oh my gosh, where's, uh, where's the flares? Where are these? Where's this rocket launcher? I don't think we're gonna need anything but this kind of stuff right here. What? Okay, so I've got a rocket launcher. But I didn't bring my, uh, oh, I did. Did I bring my ammo? I wish it was daylight outside. God, that was so spooky. I hate that kind of stuff. So here we go again. I mean, I'm already, you know, in God mode, so I might, we might as well go see what's in there. If I can even see in there. If I can even find it again. Uh... Nope, that's not it. Okay, there we go. Oh my god. Already? What is that? Okay. I don't know what it is. Okay. Oh no. What did I do with my thing? I don't have a helmet or anything on? No way. Really? I came without a helmet? Or night vision goggles or anything? I mean, if you guys want to see what's in there, I'll go, but I mean, it's just kind of scary. Okay, so there's this one. <laughs> me. Cut you. Ah, me. Me, me, me. Inventory. Yeah, one of these. Okay. So you don't stick it on your hat, huh? Uh, and I don't need a canteen because I'm not in that kind of mode. 
and I might need a grappling hook. So I will take this. All right. So let's get ah this reloaded and then put this right here. Oh my gosh, my armor. Oh yeah, we're going back and getting new armor. Sorry, I need to go get armor. I'm not going to run around in there naked. See what I mean? I'm right there. Unbelievable. Some stupid caving cave. And I can't even, I, I get, I get way upset. I get so upset in that kind of stuff. I am not good at it. But on the other hand, Do I have another set of flap? Or, well, okay. Where do I fix that at? Metal, hide, and fiber at the smithy. Ah, okay. Well, smithy. Uh, I mean, really, uh, where do I fix that thing at? I probably have to fix one of them in the fabricator, huh? Metal ingots. Okay. We have tons of metal. I've been meddling up like crazy, just getting ready to make all the bullets. See, look at that. 100,000 of them? Jeez Louise. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just do it all night long. Okay. Uh, fabricator. I knew they were going to pull something like that. Fabricator. Okay. So what does this need? Hide. Oh, you're not going to believe this. I got to hide too. From killing all those animals. See? <laughs> I'm outrageous, but oh well. If you if you're on here for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and all night long, that's all you do. You know, it's just make stuff and make stuff and make stuff and make stuff. I mean, after I get done doing this, I just sort of I don't have anything else to do. So, let's see, this is going to go here, 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 here. Uh, you need to be fixed. Wood. Uh. And, of course, it's going to rain. But we didn't even get anywhere in that cave. Oh, my gosh, I'm still nervous as you know what. And I'm in another mode, and I'm still nervous. What did I do with the wood? I didn't pull it. I'm too nervous. Hang on. Just hold on a minute. All right. This has to be, this has already got goofed up too? <sighs> Angler gel and absorbent substrate. Just get some angler gel. Or did I take it out? No, I just got it.
Might as well offload all I can, huh? Not gonna need any of this stuff. Oh my gosh. A little break. What is this? Oh, a chemistry bench? Oh, I'll take it. I will take that for sure. Uh, I don't know how much I need. Well, at least I can repair one of them. Okay, that's repaired. And you need polymer, sulfur, metal, electronics. I don't think I have sulfur here. I think all the sulfur is... Oh, maybe I do. Maybe I brought it. Maybe. I brought it when I came over from Ragnarok. I mean, Madagascar. Sulfur, sulfur. Here's some electronics. Uh, 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 uh. Please say you did. You didn't. You don't have any sulfur anywhere, do you? It's all over. I get. I was sure I brought some with me. No. And how bad off is it? Is it really bad? Not really. Okay, well, we'll just use it anyway. And we'll just remember to get some sulfur the next time we go over to um, Madagascar. Man. Kibble. And some fur. Are you kidding? That's what those guys are going to have to get when they go in there? Don't even bother with a loot crate. Just go ahead and use it for a light source. Oh my god. That was so ridiculous and scary. Uh, uh, okay. Man. Dying. Where'd that real river go? I can't believe that. Right up here. I've never even seen any of that stuff before. Oh, we already passed it. I thought I'd hear it. Okay, here we go. Again. Alright, X. Park that baby. I'm not taking it in the cave, by the way. Uh, I forgot my pick. Pike. Man. It's daylight that are show. Is this daylight or nighttime that's coming? I hope it's daylight. I get tired of working around here in the night. It's nighttime, isn't it? Mm hmm Okay, you better be in here. Seven twenty six. Yes. Seven fifty two. Uh. Jeez Louise, what is this? I don't even think I need a rifle. I don't think I would I would have the wherewithal to even be able to manage it in my head. I'd be so upset. Oh, it's already got one? Are you sure? What is this? Oh, I didn't have it back. Uh
See, I don't take my good stuff with me because, I mean, I don't want to lose it. But in this mode, I could really care. I don't think that you really need anything specific. Yeah. Uh, GPS, we got a GPS. Man, I couldn't believe that. Well, I was looking for a canteen or something, just in case we get into that big problem again. But I think in this mode, I'm okay. If I lose my puddle jumper, I can go get another one. Well, there's those Tiki God things again. Terrible at driving. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do when we get in there is put on this thing as soon as we hit the dark. And then we're going to have the flamethrower in our hand. So that is at um, maybe I should have seen if I had another flamethrower, but I don't. Okay, and then here's eight and five. What in the world? Turtle. All right. Nothing real spooky here. Just, just when you walk in there. How I found this, I have no clue. I was just thinking, oh, look. Look at this. This is cool. And then I saw that Tiki God thing. And uh, I'm like, wow. And nothing hit me. Nothing got me. Nothing, you know. I didn't even see that one. Wow. No, I, uh, okay, so, uh, we're going to get eight out and clear out some of this junk. Make sure there's nothing in here that's going to kill me. I might die anyway, so if the system goes crashing down, I hope not. doesn't seem like it will, but. So does this kill the plants? Uh, kinda. Well, it doesn't take long for it to turn black, does it? What is that? Do you hear it? Okay. So I need to put... One, two, and three. Oh, don't move two, because I'm used to two there. Three. There's a flare gun. Okay. All right. Rifle, flare gun. <laughs> Let's get this one first. Five. Okay, so we're going to put five in here. Hope I don't kill myself. Yeah, I'll bet, I hope. I can't even see it still. Look at that. Even with these glass things on.
how do you even start? I don't know where my flare gun is. Where's my flare gun? I didn't bring my flare guns. Oh, I'm moving to four. Oh, geez. I'm already used to it. Being in zero. It's not working, is it? Oh, my gun's already down to 50%. Oh, jeez. Oh, here I go again. I'm, I fell again. So, watch out, guys. As soon as you walk in, you're going to fall. As soon as you walk in, you're going to fall. Can you get out? I don't know. So, this is what it looks like. It looks like there's uh why am I outside? Interesting. It brought me all the way up to the surface. I forget how to let it go. See. Well, uh, I haven't done very well. <laughs> and you can't see a thing. I don't even know where I am. Hold on. Oh my god. I'm terrible. Ah. Where's the creek? Oh, thank God for my puddle jump and having headlights. I'm way up here. This is where this thing dropped me. Well, good luck, everybody. I'm not going in there again. That was a disaster. And very, very scary, by the way. Like super duper frightening scary. But I, I can't see it, you know. I mean, it looked like there were three loot crates. So it looks like you're going to fall. And then it looks like you're going to have to... Uh, but, you know, I mean, every cave that I've ever been in, I've always been able to see. Ah, okay. I guess I could have gammed up, but you're going to have to try it on your own. <laughs> I'm not trying it again. Okay, so that was at... 18.2, 28.4, and I have, uh, let's see here, uh, and right at the entrance, that's right there at that entrance, right when you walk in is 18.2, is 28.4. All right, now it kind of wrecked my whole thing because now I'm in a wrong mode and I can't tame or anything, anything, oh man. Okay, so, um, wow, Ugh. and we can't find any cactus. Whoa, man.
Well, there it's a blue one. Mine's a red one. And there it's a gray one. There's a red one. Okay. Oh, look at way up in the right corner. I have GPS coordinates. I never even noticed that. Wow. Man, am I upset. You can't even see in there. Well, I'll leave it up to you guys, however you want to get in there and work in there and do whatever you're going to do, but I'm never going in there again. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. That's for experienced people, not grandmas who just started gaming. <laughs> hmm. Poor grandma. I mean, I'm just get all twisted up inside and then my thumb and fingers get all twisted and I'm just like, ah, yeah. Ah. Uh. So, that was really exciting, I guess. I guess we should look around for more caves. And since we're in this funky mode, I guess we can go down here and you can see what's in here since nobody is going to see me. Wow. It's metal. If you want to come down and get some metal, there's a oh, nest at uh, 25, 67.9. Little nest. That's pretty cool. Get in and out of there. You don't have to try to fly in and fly out. It's in here. Oh, am I glad we have headlights? Oh, wow. What is in here? I don't want to get stuck. I'll get stuck, huh? Are you serious? Man, if they see my puddle jumper, though, it might get attacked. Which way was the outside? Where did the outside go? Where am I? Oh, they're red. All right. Okay, so we're at, uh, hmm, I don't even know if you want to know this, where we are in here. Uh, seven. Uh, 20, it looks like 2669. Wow. It's an underpass to the other side. Well, that'll be nice to know. So the entrance is, now I would die in lava, so I mean, we're not going to go there. But, uh, so you could come in safely, er, safelier, over here at, um, you wouldn't have to go right down into the thing. 25.469. And then you could just come on in here. And it looks like it's big enough for uh, an RG and a Terra. And um, uh, whoa. What the heck? This is at 26.69 still. Um, there's water somewhere. I'll let you get a drink of water if I can figure out where it's at. Oh man, I don't want to get lost. 
past. No way. You got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. It is an artifact of the clever. So that means you can come in at that uh, one place that we said, and then you can make a. Uh, I don't know how you want to get here, but it's at uh, 27.369.1. Why is it still that way? Okay, but you can only get one artifact of the clever at a time. And then this is interesting right here in itself because it's sulfur or salt. What is it? Salt. And this is sulfur right here. Unbelievable unbelievable. Now I can fix stuff without having to go back. Oh man, that's crazy, huh? That is insane. Okay, and remember, it's the end of it, right? There's no other way out or in. All right, so Security Cat Grandma actually found something cool. Oh no. It looks like it's down here where we were, right? Where our puddly jumper was. All right, so when we're over here, we are traveling my puddle jumper is I'd have to walk north what you can walk all around down here Uh, this is at 25.469. If you were brave enough, you could land right here and run south. And so this is at 26.69. I'm writing it down. I get lost easy. Okay. Um, our puddly jumper. Okay, so then we came in here and we went down over here past all kinds of cool stuff. And right here was the loot crate at 27.369. And then I turned around and I noticed that there was more. To this and we're traveling west and a dung beetle is about all we've seen oh my god and here's another sulfur cave please don't go anywhere else please I would just be upset if you did okay so this is really nothing else but just a sulfur cave. All right. The sulfur cave is if you continue west and you make right here at um, uh, 27.468. Right. What am I doing? <laughs> ah, okay, and then we're going to travel up. I think. We're trying to travel up. Obsidian. So you have obsidian, sulfur, 
metal, salt. I don't know what you'd want salt for, but some people use it. Oh, and then another bridge. Ah! So here you are at this other bridge. It's a toasty 99 degrees, not bad. And, um, get rid of that. And uh, you're at, uh, so this entrance here to the loot crate, I mean, the, it's not the loot crate, it's an artifact. Number uh, seven. You are at 26.5, 67.2. So if you came over that waterfall of lava and could actually get down here and fly in here, you'd be safe. And you would travel south all the way to the loot crate, and then you could travel north all the way to the other entrance if you wanted. So there's two entrances to this loot crate. I mean, artifact. I'm sorry, I got so upset about that other cave. I'm still a mess, huh? I apologize, guys. This is, you know, I started last May on the learning the computer and learning uh, how to game. Before that, I had no experience uh, at gaming. And then, uh, so it's just about a year ago that I first left the first place I ever built. And everybody else has, you know, like 10, 20, 30, 40 years of gaming. And, well, Grandma, she's got one. <laughs> so, Grandma, just like if you were a kid, you know, you get nervous. I get nervous anyway. And at 71, I mean, I'm doing great, but I still get nervous. And I'm not afraid. I just, yeah, I guess I am afraid. I don't know what I am, but it's uh I, I don't care if I die or any of that stuff. I just just get kind of weirded out. I guess that's what it is. I just get weird. Okay, so um, how did the world do? Oh, we came down. Okay, so then so there's this, there's this exit. Here, 25.9, 68.8. And then it looks like you got a third one. It's so funny the way they run. So you really have three ways that you could try to get in here. 25.4, 69.8. And uh, this isn't another cave, is it? Oh, no. It's a bourbon egg. And um, level 75 fire bourbon. There you go. So you could actually come in at 20, any of, any of these, and zip in here if you were undercover. Or, and just pick it up and then fly right out the other side, right? Yeah, I fly right out the other side. Nice. No, I would not be able to live in lava, so I don't care what mode you're in, you're not living in lava. There are levels and everything. Well, I listen to the sound effect. There are um, things you just can't do. There's always something. Okay, so here is sulfur and um, pumps do I wipe? I don't want to wipe anything. I'm taking some more. Number four is my, where's number four? Uh, let's see, put you back in number four. Put you in number three. Let's just get our stuff back in where it belongs. Spyglass, super spyglass, spyglass. Eight. I have two of these. I must have just gotten one. Uh, okay. Uh, do I have my GPS on me? Yes. Alright, so let's just get some more of this. Wow, it's pretty nice that the, uh, the Wormans aren't in here yet. Of course, I don't know. I'm 
in a different mode. I, I don't know if they can follow you in here or not. You know, I, I can't see why not. You'd have to make a beeline right for the artifact. Like in a hurry beeline. I'm so impressed that there's sulfur down here. Now you cannot put um, your artifact on anything except like in a storage box. It, it, uh, you can only get one at a time and they, uh, they see this uh, puddle jumper as a um, as a dino. Now I don't know if you can get a puddle jumper up there. So you could be in your puddle jumper. And make it in here. Wow. I don't know how you'd ever get in here with a dino dino, but. Wow, now what? There's more. Okay, so this one's at 2668.9. Did we get that one? Yeah, we got that one. That was the last one we got. And then there's more if you travel. Uh, I don't look like I can get around it. Oh, depends. What's this? Geez, twenty six point three. Now what? Oh, that's that loot crate again. 2769, right? Oh, I see. I just didn't go. So this is still the, the same one, right? Uh, yeah, the clever. Okay, so... Alright, so you might need to leave your puddle jumper down here. I don't know why that one piece is there. That's an awfully funny rock that happens a lot. See, it looks like there's nothing there to us, but there's something there on this side. Wow. Okay. All right. So, um, That was intriguing. Wasn't that amazing? So every bridge you can go in there to get that uh, artifact. And then there's eggs. Some of them even had, you know, ins and outs, outlets. I'd go across the bridge and get the one that was the easiest. <laughs> if I was brave enough to come down here. Oh my God. That is insane down there. I'm not going to go through that. I'm sorry. I would get lost in there and die. Oh, wow. Arthropleura everywhere. These are so great for chitin. And they're a passive tame if you want to get pick one up with your... Um, I think you can pick up with your Argent. And then these, yeah. Wow, they're everywhere over here. Well, I got myself an ice whirlwind because 
I was up in the ice and the ice whirling was fighting and I just jumped down and got it and left. And was really like, oh my God, I got to get out of here. And I was on my RG. I mean, we weren't the fastest in the nation, you know. So that lava must come out here on this other side. Somewhere. They don't have any nests over here, right? They've got them all in the... Oh. They've got, they've got to be all up over here in that lava area where the egg is warm. Whoa! This is an active little area. And yes, my they can my uh, puddle jumper is a dino, and yes, it can get injured. By the way, just like a real one, just like a real dino. Wow. Boy, the guys did a great job on this, huh? Scary as it is to me. I'm sure it's not scary to you, but, uh, ah, obsidian, like crazy obsidian. My, my, such, uh, such excitement around here. The PLO. Pio or whatever, Pio, I never can pronounce, they're the big cats, heavy, heavy, you can't pick them up with your argent like you can a, a wolf or a saber tooth, they're really heavy, thick, oh look it, and then on top of the world there's some um, consolation prize for you, for going through all that and surviving, oh my god, that was amazing, Unbelievable. Well, we found four. I don't know how many there are all together. We found three the other day in the really easy places. And we found this one here. Which I can't believe we know where four artifacts are. And no cactus. <laughs> And no cactus. We don't have any cactus around here. But we have a artifact. Oh my gosh. That's so funny. Man, that's just something else. And then here, I don't know what this is. It's just... You don't think there's anything behind there, do you? I don't think I'm into looking at it. I don't want to look. This is a really interesting. Look at they even made a path along well, I guess not. Never mind, it ends. Oh look where we are. Oh, this is really interesting. It brings us out to this valley. Where that uh, other art, uh, artifact is. I don't know if you can park a puddle jumper up there, but you try. And let's see, my uh, puddle jumper says we're at 38455. Uh, For those of you that didn't catch where this one was, uh, I gotta make sure. Okay, I might just jump right in the water, but that's okay. Oh, okay. So uh, we're at 38, 9, 45. You need to jump in the water. Let's 
See, it took me that long just to find out where to put that darn old thing. Okay. And right away you come to um, Crystal, and then you come down here, and here's Artifact. And there you are. Artifact of the Devious. I mean, if we're here, I might as well show you again, you know. I mean, it would be silly for me to say, oh, well, it's over here, and then, you know, somebody is like, well, I don't know what she's talking about. Uh-oh. I don't know if I can get around that. Um, I don't know if this is movable. Oh, well, okay. That's a good way to move it. All right. All righty. So now you got... Um, two of them and then up here is that bridge that I think would make a great uh, place for a tribe or even on one person it's um, an old bridge that could be you know fixed and then it's got these two really cool sides right there that you could, you know, have for a lookout and stuff on a PVP. And way over there, I know you can't see it, but way over there, that's where our oil wells are. My two oil wells. And over here, I think this is more fun than anything. I put these here because I'm always misplacing where they put them, where they are. But on these platforms, there's water. Well, down here on this platform and up here on this one. Isn't that neat? Because I came up here to get away from something. I can't remember. And then if you need, uh, you don't have an oil well, you can come up here and there's these three oil. See them? The oil stacks right there. The closer you get, the more it renders in as uh, more rocks and stuff. But there they are. You can get three. You can get quite a bit. And then over the hill, um, There is another one right here. I put pumps on everything so I could find them. <laughs> I'm always like, and this is here, and this is here, and then I'm like, I don't know where it is. Okay, so we're going to get this oil, and we're at, well, let's get back in our puddle jumper. We're safer. And it says we're at 34.6, 35.7. Nice. Is that what our GPS says, too? 34.6, 35.6. Well, it doesn't matter. Close, huh? Nice. And then this is where, over here, that the ice worm is usually flitting around, killing stuff. Oh, that's not here today. Oh, it's so bright. One extreme to the other, huh, guys? And it's still nighttime. Oh, we got our little... I mean, we've done all this at night, by the way. Oh, I wanted to show you this. This is a... It's nothing. But I thought if somebody wanted to make a, a, a place in here for their... Um, for their vault, you know, like a, a super duper little hideaway cache. I mean, not many people are going to find it. Well, they might now, but there it's a 33.6, Ah, it's snowing. And it's really dangerous. But on the other hand, if you're on a flyer and you can flit around through here, then you're going to be really 
happy. And over on this side, I think. Maybe not. I thought maybe there was another entrance over here for the uh, ice cap. But I have to get down here to say uh, and look up. No. Oh, sure it was over here somewhere. Oh, look at this stag way up here. How beautiful. Just checking it out. It's the first time I've been over here when there wasn't any orving that was going to kill us. Really nice, actually. First time for everything, I guess. Oh, look at that. I know there's an entrance to this ice cap right around here somewhere. Oh well. Someday. I mean, I know they're over that way a little bit, but I was thinking that there was one up here. Alright, so... Uh, our resident sloth. I'm leaving the, um, the information on up here so that you can see the, uh, even though it's kind of dark, it way in the upper right hand corner, you can see the, um, the GPS coordinates of where we are in case you know you want to find out where we are. Okay, and then this looks like Viking Bay again. And then here is... Uh, you come up Viking Bay and you see this blue blob here and you come right past the blue blob and you come into the cavern and it's extreme it's huge there's oil you know uh, not sometimes there's a lot of bears sometimes there's none Sometimes they don't aggro, sometimes they do. Uh, there's tons of crystal, and it's at 31, 34.9. So I just say 31, 35. And then um, there's like four or five different outlets to it. But there's just, you know, oil everywhere. See? So, I mean, if you really, really, really wanted to, you needed oil and then um, here's the penguins little guys and uh, here's another entrance out of course it's nighttime still of course and you're not that far from the blue obelisk either and this is at uh, 31.4 32.6 So I'm guessing you could just, you know, try each entrance. And if there wasn't a bear there, you could probably try to get some oil or something. Uh, it's at 33.1, 33.7. That's actually, those three are really great ways to get in there.
and then you come over here. This isn't a way in of something, is it? Oh, they even have a, an entrance on the top? Oh, how cool is that? Uh, that's at uh, 32, 33.3. Nice, huh? Okay, so let's go make a tree platform and some sap taps and see if we can find a redwood tree to tap into. And then here's all the penguins and the, the lake of ice. Tons of arties. But I mean, if you can handle arties and raptors, that's about you know, and, and a couple of carnos. And then this waterfall falls over into this area here. Now, I don't know if I can park my puddle jumper on this or not, but I hope so. I can. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. I figure since we're here, I might as well show you where another artifact is, right? Except I can't get out of my pump jumper. So how can I do that? Uh, maybe if I just pull up just a tiny, tiny bit. Whoop, whoop, whoop. No, oh, 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 okay. Uh, now can I get out? Aha, all right. I never remember how to get in there. All I remember is, is that it's, uh, it's down there. <laughs> yeah, that's all I remember. So we're going to, I can't unload those. That won't let me. Uh, so I'm just going to get rid of all this junk here. I don't think we're going to need flamethrowers under the water. And um, I don't need a rifle down there. I am going to need the GPS. So I can show you where we are. As soon as I find it again. I don't think I brought any arrows for my, no, I just brought grappling hooks. Okay, so uh, also on the other side of these stairs over here, I don't know if any of you guys will ever play on our server, but I put an underwater stargate so I could find, so I could just come right here from anywhere and float around and and here it is right here. Okay, so this entrance is, is exactly. Where's my, uh-oh. I forgot my GPS. How can I forget my GPS? Kind of makes you wonder, huh? Where my brain is today. Hey. All right. GPS, what'd you do with it? Do I really have, did I really lose it? No, it's just so dark, I can't see it. All right. So I'm going to gamma up a little because it's just too dark under there for you guys to even see where we're going. There. Now, here we go again. And down. All right. So the opposite side of the stairs that go down. And you go down to here, and it's down here. And this exactly, oh, we're, here we go again, exactly, 27.5, <laughs> Wear a scuba diving outfit. I always wear scuba uh, so you can breathe under here. But today, since we're in a weird mode. Okay, now I'll, I looked, and I looked, and I looked like four times, and I go back up here never even paid attention to this set of stairs going down <sighs> on both sides by the way crazy as it sounds and then um so i think it's three stories down and then you come in here and on the left are just ruins and on the right 
is the other artifact. And this is called the Artifact of the Sky Lord. How beautiful, huh? So then you just go out, and when you get back here, either side will take you back up. There's stairs on both sides, exactly the same. And then right up here. I think if we turn right is where the stairs are, right? Why are those stairs at? I guess not. Oh, well. I never really paid attention. I never used the stairs. Huh. Oh, they're up on the second level. Ah, okay. Nice. Oh, they even left you some crystal if you want it. So what do you think of that? I think it's fantastic, too. So here it is at night. We're zooming around, doing nothing else, and we're having a ball. Okay, so those two were in water. The other one was in the dragon cave. And um, now the operative word here is if. If I can find it, well, I'll go show you the other one that I know where it is. It is over at the gorilla temple. And I'm going to gamma down a little bit and see if, it, uh, if I can see it shining. It shines at night. There's a, an eternal light there. Here it is right here. Okay. Boy, I'm getting really good at this place. Oh my God, somebody else is here. Who else is here? Ah! Hello! Marquestro? No. Jeb? Hi. Okay. I'm streaming. So you go down past the gorillas. <laughs> I'm in bed. My wife is sleeping. That's cute. Cute. I'm streaming. <laughs> And then this is the artifact of the equipable. No. Artifact of the what? Of the strong equipable. Oh my god. How funny. I found, I want to tell him I found the fourth one. Oh, I wanted to tell him. Uh, oh, well, I'll just tell him. I found a fourth artifact. And the uh, uh, dragon forge of lava. And a horrible horrible cave over by all of us. We're caving. All right. There we go. Now, so this is at, oh my gosh. This is at 24.825, guys. So it's almost 25.25. And at nighttime, see I'm at gamma at two? See the light? I know you can't see it with my headlights on. But this has an, it has its own light source. That's how I found it the first time. I'm like, what is this light down here? All of this right here, this is all, all light. Isn't that something? 
it's all lit at night and it's really easy to get here uh, by an animal too. What is over here killing what? Something is uh, killing something else. Oh, it's over here. Oh, he's doing something. What is he? Oh. Uh, <laughs> he is taming a Rex. Those guys are so good at this. I mean, they've been, you know, they're like my grandson. They've been, you know, doing for 25 years. Me, me and my one year, because I, I told the guys, I go, I'm really nervous when I do stuff. And they go, why would you be nervous? I go, because you guys have had 25 years of experience and I have one. And I'm trying to keep up with you guys. It's so funny. Oh, yeah, I guess so, huh, Grandma? Yeah. Okay, so um, this is a really nice area to get uh, crystal, and it's not really that uh, violent up here. I think the most I've ever seen up here was a raptor. And it's at 20.3, uh, 25.7. And uh, if you come up that one river, that where we found that horrible cave. <laughs> See this, this river right here? Okay, so you're on the beach and you've gotten your first bird and you've spawned in this area because this is the Viking Bay area. You come up the river and you follow the river up here until it waterfalls and then you just make a right. And you come in through here and just keep flitting around and there's actually some not a lot but there is some uh, obsidian and right when you're starting out it's just really nice to have and um, there's some more obsidian by the way and more obsidian, and more obsidian see it how cool is that so yeah And the, uh, the bridge that's up above, or geez, I can't even see the bridge. Where'd it go? There it is. See the bridge up here? That's where all this is. So the obsidian looks like it's on the next level down. I don't know. I, I was brand new at this, so. I mean, I was brand new on the map when I found the obsidian. So it looks like it's. Yeah, so it's one level down from the um, crystal. Nice. So it's around a 19.9252. And uh, so this bridge is a, is a giveaway, though. You know, it's all right on the right of the bridge. And up here, I even have a... Oh, if you've never seen this before, I think I'll take you in. It's a, it's really gory, gross, but guys love it. It's a depiction of a dead guy trying to escape who got hatcheted in his head. See? Whole moldy body. And another guy who was pinned up against a board. Don't you just love it? This ugly, ugly. And here's a dead guy in here. These are all captured slaves or whatever. And they were just left here to die. I think it's really sad, but I hated it when I saw it. And um, it looks like they flayed them. It just looks like they took their skin off, uh, which was kind of sickening to me. I mean, if they would have just been dead, it would have been fine, but it looks like they actually skinned them alive. Or they wouldn't have had them stuck up there like that. All right. Uh, so much for that. And... Um, But this river is, is the river where we just found that uh, horrible cave. <sighs> the horrible cave. And the horrible cave is just right here. Right underneath this little overhang here. And it's hidden. And I was just wandering around on my pteranodons going, Oh my God, these guys have just found all these cool caves to stick their stuff in. And I walked in there and it turned black and I got, you know, 
I got attacked by scorpions and snakes, and I ran out of there. And I thought, well, today I'll just, you know, go in and see what it's like. And then I wasn't prepared to drop, you know, 10 stories and die. So, you know, because then I would have been streaming and I would have been dead. And I don't know if I would have come back. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I am so sorry. I'm so glad you're with me tonight. Um, it is funny to me that... Uh, it's still night. We left at night. It's still night. Aye, 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 aye. So what time is it really? Uh, it is um, 11.31. Oh, we went through the day already. We must have been in the caves all day. That's what we're supposed to be at night. Okay, so now... I can take, how much can I take? Uh, I'm going to leave that here. I'm going to take the sulfur, which I'm really excited to have. I don't think we need this. I don't know what I'm carrying it for. I need my uh, storage. It can't go anywhere. Um, now that I've had that happen, I'm going to, okay, so this is for, these two are for the Stargate. This is called a puddle, a jumper ZPM. Don't forget that there's a, the jumper ZPM is different than our other ZPM. This is a zero point module for the Stargate. This is a zero point module that is consumable for your jumper. They're two different engrams. And let's see, we're not gonna need this, we're not gonna need that, we're not gonna need the oil, we're not gonna need this. It seems like the rest of it would on no use for everything, didn't we? So, um, I showed you where four artifacts were, and one of them was an accident. So, uh, let's go like that and see if my bullets back out. So, I have shown where those three are three times on three different videos. But today is the first time I've ever seen this one. Artifact is a clever. And we could just go back and go in one of those, um, I don't think I'd want to go back and not be, you know, in God mode. I would never do it. You could just forget it. Not grandma. I, I'm just not, I, I don't see how those guys go in there and just get the eggs. I mean, I was having fun just trying to get a worm and egg. The only way I got any eggs at all is over on Madagascar because the, the eggs are just like right out, you know, in the open, you know, the, the wormans, they just lay them. And then they're out, you know, around on the other side of the mountain. There's only two places that they lay them. And eventually there'll be a scar in the world and I won't be able to get any more. So I'm stockpiling them whenever I can over there. But I haven't been over there in two weeks. Kind of makes me think I should go over there, huh? Uh, but no, I want to make that... Uh, I really, 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 really need to concentrate on getting, finding a way to get um, the platform. I wonder if they have S plus platforms anymore. Do they make them platform? Look at all this electronics I made. Do you know how many times I had to go get silica pearls for all this junk? I have been getting silica pearls and hiding them in a cache so nobody would know I had them. And then I found out that the tourists take a zillion of them and I made 97 turrets if you can believe it because I had um, how many turrets did I have uh, I made 400 turrets on Madagascar I mean that's just ridiculous don't you think to have to do that uh, I don't know I don't know how these guys like to play this game but I think it's not fun I don't think it's fun at all having to, the grind of making this stuff so that somebody can come in and kill you or you can kill them. Mm -mm. The only reason I'm putting any any effort into this at all is because um, somebody's going to come over here onto our server and not know I'm a grandma. And 
I'm not going to fight them back. I'm just going to have my turrets up. That's all I can think to do. So I'm going to make 300 of these. They're very expensive to make. And you will run around and get silica pearls for like a day. And I went back every hour on the hour one night after I streamed. And I was up till 4 in the morning. So, you know, 5 times 8 is 45. Hundred, and then I've been doing it ever since every day because like I said before pretty soon we're not going to have um, uh, to, it to be safe over there anymore it's not going to be safe after a while they're going to put in all kinds of horrible little things and um, I can take you over there and show you where it is if you want as soon as I figure out how to make a platform because we got to go over there anyway uh, okay, so I know I bought the platform. I just don't know where to make it. And nope, I didn't make the platform again because it's a new character. Oh, lovely. Oh, here it is. Wooden. Oh, I just made it a simple one. Okay. Uh, Crafted at the Smithy. Hot dig. I doubt if it's S plus, so. Um, platform, 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 P. Metal tree platform. No, I don't like that. Don't tell me I just made it out of metal. Why did I make a metal one? Oh, never mind. I don't want to know. Okay, so I'm going to need uh, 600 cementing paste. And remember when I said all that uh, Arthropleura and um, Mantis give you chitin? Well... Grandma went over and got a bunch. See the masonry table raw material crafting station. Because over here, I put in an extra mill over here. I only had one, and then I thought I started, you know, messing around over here. And um, so I. This whole thing was half full of chitin and stone. And then so was this one for a while. And then I started making um, spark powder. And I was making uh, bug repellent for that. Because I was going to go into the cave and go caving. Because I'm so tough and brave that I fell down and had to save myself. I was like... I almost got sick to my stomach in there. I was so scared. I know you guys are going to be laughing at me, but I'm just being honest. Uh, yeah. I'm, uh, <sighs> okay. So, um, why do we have this in here? What did I, oh, because I just put it in here. Just a, oh, because we were making, we were fixing that gun because we needed sulfur. Ah, and we found it so I can fix it wherever the fixing one is. Here it is. Uh, we use this one and then this one. And you don't need to be fixed, right? Anybody else need to be fixed in here? Yeah, you do, but you're fix it the smithing. And I didn't even use this one yet. Okay, so this is the other one that I had. Remember, I didn't want to ever use my, my really good stuff, but in this mode, I use all I want. Alrighty, so let's get this in here and this in here and pull the sulfur. Unbelievable. I can't believe we got sulfur. I am so tickled. That is just so cool. Okay, so for, and we got enough. Of course, I don't have a clue what enough is, but how much does it take to um, fix one of those? I guess we're not going to know until we turn it on, huh? Uh, polymer, metal, and cement. Another, oh, jeez, the cementing paste. Everything is cementing paste. Everything is just so um, 
resource heavy to me. It just, I don't see how. I'm here because my grandson wanted to let everybody have what they wanted, and that is what it is, a PVP, dedicated PVP. And I want to support him in that. So I did. So I came over here and played on this. Over here, I'm always here at night. And I can go on any of the servers and help out if somebody needs help. So we're going to Organic Poly. And I really liked uh, Ragnarok PVE better. But over here is where the guys are getting ready. And so I thought, okay, I'll just stay over here. And I made them having a ball. Oh, being a scary cat and all. <laughs> I am really. Uh, let's see here. I guess this is at the Smithy, huh? Oh my gosh, the Smithy. I'm taking this with me. I think I'm probably going to need it, huh? What, okay. do I, what do I need here? Okay, so if I put the. Uh, okay, this one goes. That one's already repaired. This one needs to be repaired. This needs to be repaired. And these guys are okay, right? Oh, this one's not. All right. So let's see if I can repair them. Uh, repair and repair and repair. And flint and stone, huh? Flint and stone. Any flint and stone? I just got organic poly. Flint and stone. Flint. Okay, and it's just a tiny bit of stone, a little bit. Oh, I took it all out to make um, that other stuff, didn't I? Oh, there'll be some in here. Aha, aha. There you go, flint and stone. Here we are. Flint and stone. Ta da! There you are, and okay, right here. Okay, so this one's repaired, this one's repaired, this is repaired, this is repaired, and I can pull all this back in here. Oh, this one. Uh, man, I have been working, you know, everybody else, they're out taming and just having a best all time, and they get all this done like jig tang. Me, I'm just like biting my fingernails trying to get all of this stuff resourced and that's not all every time I get a, anything that's metal or anything that's not S plus I stick it in here and it gives me tons and tons of um, metal ants like uh, fabricators and stuff <laughs> I stick it all in there if it's not S plus I really don't want it and yesterday I got an Allosaurus brain from my really high level RG killing an Allosaurus. I thought that was kind of gross. Oh, you need to be helped too? Oh, come on. I got it all ready over here. Before I take it all out of here. Uh, oh. What am I missing? Oh, I took it with me. Oh, pardon me. Sorry. Didn't know I had so much over here. Okay. There you are. Right here. Okay. Repair. And then, let's see. Then over here, I have been making, trying to make bullets. I need a whole 600 of these slots of those kind of bullets. Crazy as that sounds. Yep. The truth. And then here's more bullets and more bullets and more bullets. And here's 97 turrets. takes weeks. You know, you think you're going to get, you know, get done in a couple of days. It takes weeks. I think that's why I just stayed over here because I knew it was going to take so long. And I can get a ton of silica pearls on Madagascar. I mean, like, so many at a time you wouldn't believe it. So I just bring them over here. <laughs> Actually, I make the electronics over there because I live on a metal field over there. In fact, my place is called Metal Field. That's all I call it. I just call it metal field. 
So my my place is called Metalfield over there, and I just go over there and I get silica pearls and I make these with the metal. And I have uh, three industrial uh, forges over there, and six uh, fabricators. So I can just keep making stuff at once because the bullets you make them in here. They're in crafting and they're advanced rifle bullets. Right here. Gunpowder. Oh, I've been making gunpowder. Uh, where is it? I made a whole bunch of it. Yeah. I just I just took it out of the mill this morning. Oh good. Well we can make some of these. And but you have to have like six fabs going if you're gonna make a lot of these. And um, that's why I was building that other place over there by the coast on the north. They call it the Highlands. Because this place is too small. If I would have raised the Quest and the Worven and the RG here yesterday, I would have never been able to take them for walks or anything. It was bad enough just trying to raise them in that huge place over I have on the coast. It's just incredible. Incredible, they are just incredible. Okay, so this is going to be making bullets at the, and then this is making probably already done, huh? Twenty-six turrets. What happened? Did I take out something I was supposed to? Probably, huh? What did I take out? Uh, metal. Uh, mm -hmm, that's what I did. I pulled it. Oh, lovely. Nice gone. Thank you. Let's just take all this back. I'll leave that here. You can have that. And then here. Okay, and then just pull the metal ingots back in here. I shouldn't have so much stuff without being in a vault. But that's why I leave as much as I can in a vault. Okay, let's see how many more we can make. <sighs> 71. Oh, what are we going to be out of? 7. Oh, we're going to be out of electronics. That'll just teach me. I'm just going to have to leave a little bit in every place. Okay. Except I don't, I hate to leave with all this stuff here. I am serious. I, I just, oh, I'm making bullets. That's what it is. Okay, so let's pull some resources. We'll pull metal in here. Big metal gloppy things. Just pull it all. The heck with it. All right. I hate to run out of stuff and then come back and like, hey, you guys, you didn't do this. Don't make the turret that's in the fab, even though it says to make it in the fab. It's an S plus now. And the turret here only takes, um, I think it only has 25 slots. And the S Plus can also run on gasoline. So we're going to run out again, gunpowder. So I'm going to have to make gunpowder again. So how many of these uh, are you making? Seven. Hundred and it's what oh a little overkill grandma on the metal ants there. Okay. Uh, 
this, we're going to slide it like this. Okay. And then we're going to run out of electronics, aren't we? Of everything. So what are we going to run out on this one? Let's see. 36 times... We're going to run out of metal and electronics. Whoa, you're kidding. Fine, 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 fine. What else does it take? It takes a polymer, which I've got extra organic polymer and a fab because it's not going to be used for bullets. So I'll just take these. And then I'm going to take, so I have to bring in more metal, ants. Of course I do. I know you guys have to go. Okay, I'm just going to bring in 40,000. I, I, I can't think how much all of this wants every time. All right. There you go. And uh, look at all the stuff it's using. It just uses, I mean, it, it only made 149. That's it. Period. The end. You're done. Done deal. And I'm going to need over 300 of them. Unless I just move out of here totally. Which I might have to do. Because it is really, look, 79. It's tough to be wandering around from place to place, making sure everybody's got enough bullets, everybody's got enough everything. I mean, look, we just, it's just hard. And now I don't have enough gunpowder. And I started out with um, 25,000 gunpowder when I started uh, earlier, when I, before I, when I was making the other bullets. And... We should be able to make more cementing paste, though. 163. I went up to, uh, over by the volcano, not at the volcano, and got mantis and arthropora, and you get tons of chitin from them. And organic polymer, like crazy, with, uh, the mantis. It gives you like tons of organic polymer. And then instead of having to make poly from obsidian and metal ingots, again, resource, um, you just use the organic polymer and it uses it. But if you put regular polymer and organic polymer into the inventory, it will use your real polymer first. So kind of remember that. It's going to use it first. Okay, so... Here we are, back trying to get a tree platform, back into our metal ingots. <laughs> of course. Uh, give me one of these. Okay, now, tree. All right, cementing paste. Fiber, metal ingots, wood, 1,600 wood for one of these. And how many can we make of these? 15. We only need four. If we find a redwood tree. The operative word there is if. This is 90 pounds, huh? Wow. I don't know if you want to go run around with me while I'm trying to find... Uh, A redwood tree or not. What time is it? It's 10 to 11. Ugh. Okay. 
let's just go over oh. I'm not going to take a flame shot. I'm going to have to take these, so um, at least one. Because wherever we go, find a redwood tree, I'm putting in a stargate. That having to fly around and go get it and all that, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. that's terrible. Okay, and then. Uh, Every time I leave without anything like this, I'm always sorry that I don't have it with me. So we'll get a little bit of narcotics. Just a little bit. Oh, that's right, I can't tame. I won't do it. I won't do it. Not in this mode. It's not fair. They don't even know you're there. Okay. Uh, 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 I didn't really want to take you. What do you got? This is the one I want to. I want to. Um, this is the one I want to level up. Okay. So hopefully, was that um. Yeah, here's a Stargate remote right here. And uh, we're going to leave the... Uh, <laughs> we're leaving the rocket launcher here, dear. And uh, we're going to leave our really other high-level one here, too. So, just get in here with all the weapons. There you go. Weapon day. And so we got weapon and... We got everything. All right, let's go. And it's still night. Jeez, how terrible. Okay. Remember, you're going to need scuba diving gear for this, but I'm not going to need it right now, but we will need it. I always have it with me. I just can't use it today. All right, so we're going to go to the Silk of Pearls. Might as well. And we have our GPS here for you guys that have never seen where it is. And, uh, boy, I hope that nothing happens this time. I don't want to get shot out into the ocean. Oh, nice. Now, sometimes animals do swim over here, like carnos and stuff, so I'm going to make sure she's on attack my target. Neutral. Nah, that's not going to work. And she doesn't need that. Okay, so uh, I don't even bother anymore with um, taking my pike out because you can't uh, get anything with your pike. And you do need a scuba diving uh, gear if you're going to do this. And when I'm normal, I need a scuba diving gear or I drowned. You're under here too long, way too long, unless you want to just pop up and down and up and down. And um, you can see these uh, in the evening when you're uh, flying over the river. They sparkle like crazy. So we're kind of fortunate that it's nighttime because they're sparkling and we can see them. And you just uh, uh, harvest them with the, the E button. I don't think I have ever found any over here. You kind of have to get way up and you look out and um, see right there.
Well, we are on Gamma 3. That's funny. Wow. I couldn't believe it. There we go. Now we'll be able to see them better. Maybe you can't see, though. I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll check it out in a second. And here's one. And then you just go back up here. And then if you get confused as to where you are, just go up to the surface. And what you want to do is you want to follow the river. And the river is going, um, see where my stargate is? The river flows that way out to where we just got that artifact. But it flows in from over here uh, towards a swamp. So if you are uh, have your GPS, you want to be swimming west at 39.31 is right where we are right now. I mean... And uh, so swim west and pick up the rest of them. There's not as many as there are in Madagascar, but there are plenty. Especially if you come every hour. So just come every hour and, I mean, if you're not doing anything else. I mean, sometimes I just go and get metal, silica pearls, wood, stone. <laughs> After I get done uh, streaming, some nice is just resource gathering and hitting every single drop and putting anything like um, the wooden stuff you get when you kill a raptor, anything. I throw it in the grinder and get, you know, the thatch, the wood, the metal, sometimes organic polymer. So. But see it? See it? Kind of shiny there. Now in Madagascar, they come in big gloppy groups of, you know, three to eight, ten. Over here, it's just like one at a time, which makes it a lot harder because it's a lot more time consuming. But if you have nothing else and you really need them, Go for it. I can't really remember how far out I have seen them. I usually stop right around here. I think there's one more that I've ever found. And then that's it. Let's see how long we're underwater. So you really, really, really do need to have scuba. So I don't think I've ever been any further than that. So I don't think I've ever seen any shining off in the distance. See? There's nothing shiny over there. So I usually stop right here. Now someday, now there's a saber-toothed salmon right there. So... Come to about 37.527 and turn around. And then swim all the way back because right here on the left up here on uh, these beaches, it's really nasty with Carno, uh, those packs of uh, jackals. You can't believe it. There's just so many things. I, one time I accidentally got up and just kind of looked, checking things out and a carno followed me all the way over to those steps where um, I jumped off. I go back later and he's still standing there on the stairs. <laughs> I'm like, Ugh. I mean, and it was a long time later because I, it was like an hour later when I came back. <laughs> there that old carno was just waiting for me. Ugh. Funny.
and you can see these from when you're flying uh, up above. They just glitter. In fact, they glitter more when you're flying over them than they do when you're in this murky water. The water is never clear, like, you know, crispy. It's like real water. It almost looks like there's one, another one over here, but I don't know if it's just my imagination or not. No, it's just one of those little plants. It's not shiny. And that's it. Then you just come back over here to these stairs. I haven't found any on the other side of these stair things, so I don't even bother going over there anymore. And you just swim right up here. All the way up here. And I think that it actually allows you to get up right here. Yeah, this is where it allows you to get up. And then I've never been able just to climb right up that, so I just go around over here. And, and I'm so thankful about that rock band there. There we go. Okay. So, um, we got uh, 1,500. So, that's 500 electronics right there. Well, 530. So, you come, you know, for five hours. That's 2,500 electronics. So, in two days, you got 5,000. But you have to be diligent, boy. You have to really want to do it. Or just run over to Madagascar if you're on our servers. Oh, that's right. We're not going there. And we have to watch out for your... Uh, stamina. And uh, see, there's that... I don't know why those carnos are there. And then I had way too much oil before I put that oil thing up there. I don't think there's anything like that over okay. And so I came over here and I just gathered resources and I made a storage. And um, for those of you that haven't been over to the swamp, the swamp is just right around the corner here. I like that they kind of put some of the swamp on this side because there's uh, frogs over here and everything. But isn't this a magnificent? So pretty, huh? So there's swamp here. And you can find your snakes. I don't think I've ever seen a sarco here yet on the, at the swamp. Uh, I guess we could look around and see what's over here today. Usually parasers at swamps. There's, there's a frog right there. And um, you can pick one up with your RG, by the way. And uh, all this out here is swamp land. So it's really nice. And um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the ruins that I found over here or not. There is a, a mountain top kind of a get out, out of the swamp 
area over here that you can get go right from the mainland to here and then rest. Oh, there's there's a circle on this side. I don't think I've ever seen another one on the other side. Only on this side. So there is a Caprosuchus right there on the left and a Sarco and then a snail. So the snails are great. They give you uh, Alcatina paste, which is just like cementing paste. Except that you need sweet cakes and you need sap. To make sweet cakes and honey now the last patch three days ago added honey from the bees so the guy on madagascar was really nice and he added honey bees just for me <laughs> okay so here we are and um you can look out over the ruins and you're like what ruins well you have to get down and I really never really saw them until I flew the periphery of the swamp. And I came across this really cool bridge. And I just kept going around and I was really surprised. Let's see that parasurs are here. You know, I don't know how you would get a parasur home from here unless you swam it across that really short inlet. So here's why I came across these ruins right here. And uh, I flew across the bridge. And then I came into here, which was interesting. And here's a tiki god again. Because there weren't any um, snakes or anything inside of here. I'm sure there is probably today. But when I first came in here, it was dry and there were uh, no predators. Isn't that amazing? Somebody used to live here back in the back in the day. Um, he doesn't see me, so uh, here is your plant species X. See, look at this: two hundred and eighty-six plant species X seeds. Not bad, huh? And then this is the same. Isn't that cool? Look at that. I took pictures of this and everything. Had them on my front page of my um, stream. I know I'm supposed to be going and getting a tree, finding the sap, and I haven't. But um, I wouldn't adventure out there without a bird. Not really. And since I'm not um, in a regular mode, I don't know why I can't get in there. What's wrong with this picture? Oh, there you go. I, I'm not aggroing anything, so nothing's coming here to get me. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, down here, um, I don't think it's on this one. If you go up the stairs, it's just a little, um, you can see out. Isn't that pretty? I mean, you could have, if you liked the swamp, if, you know, operative word there, like. If you liked the swamp, this would be a great, a great place. I know that a lot of people from the south uh, really enjoy making their, um, their bases, you know, in the swamps. And there's leeches. Lovely. Okay. And then this is kind of cool. You go down here. Look at that gorgeous tree, just like in Louisiana. Uh, you go down here, and um, this right here, I've never seen anything that could eat you. Uh, I've seen things that could eat you right out the door. So, that looks like a porpoise, huh? Is that a porpoise or a, uh, that's a porpoise, huh? An ichthyosaurus, yeah, that's a porpoise. I didn't even know they had porpoise over here. How cool is that? They are uh, warm-blooded, so they're, um, they're not fish. So, 
You know, I mean, you could even wall that off if you wanted and have a place, you know, to park your animal. You know, bring a shark in there. I just think it's a really neat place. I don't know if this uh, is harvestable. Yep, it's harvestable. So, um, how neat. But isn't it pretty? And then this isn't the only one. Uh, the other one is a lot more dangerous. I've always found junk in it. Uh, if I can find it. I think it's this way, on the other side. Yeah, it is, because the bridge continued. I'm guessing you could just continue and fix the bridge up if you wanted. But look at all this in the water. And then over here on dry land again, see, snake. Uh, and um, parasaur, like I said, I, I don't know how you get a parasaur out of here in one piece. But I think over here, yeah, this is the first place I ever found silk. I didn't know there was some on the coast where I am. So I used to fly all the way to the swamp here. And um, it's best to use a sickle. By hand, you hardly get any. Uh, I'm not going to be able to stay off of him for too long because of the snakes. But let me show you. Okay, so if I get number eight out. See, I got fiber and silk. 168 silk or 88.6 or, you know. You know, and if you do it by hand, you get like 10, 12, 15, 20. So you want to get yourself a sickle and bring it here wherever you go. Harvest your silk. Make sure you get, make sure, sure, sure. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to hit you. Okay, let's go. All right. What do you think of that? So you got silk, uh, sarcos. Circles are cool, you know, you can tame them and you can be swimming around. Um, when I uh, get my base all fixed, I'm going to, and I find a sap tree, a redwood tree, then I'm going to uh, start coming over and, and harvesting snails. I have like 22 of them uh, on each of my other uh, maps. And now that I have to have honey, I even went and got honeybees on this map and um, the island so far. No, actually I never made a beehive on the island. I just go and rob the beehives. Kill the queen. If you just rob the beehive, then you don't get like except maybe like six. But if you kill the queen, it's like 60. And I'm telling you, you try to find the queen by yourself and keep up with her and all of her little bee baby bees that she's just you know pooping out the back of her it's just it's really hard i wasn't able to do it i got one uh almost tame i think uh i i was right up behind it and another bee wild bee came and killed her in fact i did i she, she was 11 she was a, a level 11 and she, and i had tamed her and um that was it she was killed by another bee because I didn't uh, make a honey beehive right away with her. I learned my lesson right off the bat there. This is interesting. Never seen this before. What is this? This isn't another one of those. I don't know what it is. What is it? Oh, somebody put a stargate here. Oh my gosh. Look at the metal and the crystal. Ooh, cool. What's this one? Smart people. See, they find all this stuff. I never find anything. <laughs> well, you know, I think I do. And then I'm like, ah! Okay, 2 0. Next page paper. Okay, 208. 
176. I should have put one over on the swamp, huh? Rats. I never even thought about it. Well, when I get done uh, over here, I'll do that. And this is a um, swamp metal cave. Oh. Still carrying around a sickle. How stupid. Uh, I guess you can fly in there. Wow. Nice cave. Look at all the stuff. This is a truly a great find if you're gathering up metal. You could even put a foundations outside of here and put a, a, a big forge, one of those industrial forges and run it on gas and just forge metal like crazy for days. Just run in there, get my metal. Oh yeah. So cool. All right. Come on, we got to find a redwood tree quick. Uh, in fact, I think there's one over at the Red Obelisk. Let's just go there. Okay, so zero. And Red Obelisk. And it's close to home. This has been a great thing. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to put one of those um, star gates right there. Uh, it didn't do it. Too far away. Uh, oh, whoa. What happened? Maybe he uh, locked it so nobody else could use it. And that's okay. Just stick mine right there next to it. <laughs> nah, I don't need to. I'm fine. I have my uh, ankylosaurus and um, oh, so since we're together and it's night, and here's another set of ruins that's really intriguing. Um, I don't know what you could do with it, but it's uh, it would be a cool lookout. But it's what's over here that's gonna just blow you away. Ready? get up high enough so you can see them. Ah. Get away. <gasps> oh my gosh, scare myself to death. So here's a Contiki guides. Where did he go? There's these guys. What did I do with them? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where are they? It's a bunch of uh, gorilla statues in here. And of course today I can't find them. Too much vegetation, I think. I don't think we need that. Here, let's let's get rid of this thing. Nine. All right, let's go down here. Here's the pillars. Oh, here's one right here. There's three of them. Kind of hidden, huh? And here's one right here. And they're the same kind of gorilla except they're not dressed with a gold trim as at the at the at shrine. So I'm guessing that they worship them. So let's see here. Uh, one. Two, geez. Uh, 
And then the third one, I think, is still at the ruins, uh, and it's just like the head. Oh, no, here it is. There's the third one right here. Here we go. So, isn't that cute? That's pretty, huh? I really love going around and seeing all this neat stuff that they put in here. I just love it that they used so much imagination and had such a great time. Ah, seven. Okay, seven is a 33.4, 25.6. And you could just jump right over here and make yourself a little, little kind of base. I don't know, you know, I see all these great animals over here and I think how in the world would I ever get them home? Good question. And there's a swamp. Okay, guys. I am going to say good night. It's almost 1130 at night. And you've been with me for three hours. I'm so sorry. Um, I love you guys so much for being with me. Thank you so much. I know it's late where you are, but or early. So if you're on the other side of the world, I hope you're having a fantastic, great day. And if you're on this side of the world, have a great night. And if you're anywhere in between, remember to have a great afternoon and a great evening. I love you. God bless you. If you need healing, I pray for you healing in your body or your job or your mind or your school or anything that is bothering you, you know, at any age, honestly. I mean, five-year-olds have trouble with a lot of things in coping nowadays. So, um, especially if they're latchkey kids and they're all alone you know, like seven years old and alone, they get so scared. So um, I wish for all of you to have health and wealth and wisdom. And I love you very much. I'll see you tomorrow night at eight o'clock. Um, foreseeing, unforeseeing, foreseeing, anything like that, foreseeing or unforeseeing, anything glitchy with my software. But I usually make it at eight, except for tonight. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. So good night and sweet dreams. Bye-bye, you guys. I love you.